I'm curious to zoom out a little bit more. You guys have Margin Labs. Margin Fi is obviously at the protocol level. I'm curious to just hear more about what Margin Labs is. Obviously, right now, Margin Labs is entirely focused on building out Margin Fi, but what's the idea behind this? I know you guys are looking to do some more social community aspects. So not sure who wants to jump on that first. Yeah, I can take this. Uh, so Margin Labs is the core contributing entity to Margin Fi, right? Um, it's the people you're looking at in this room, right? Uh, we're a software development firm. Uh, we contribute to open source software and we have a strong thesis that open source software is where the future is going, especially when you're talking about DeFi, right? Um, obviously, you know, right now the focus is on margin fi entirely. Uh, and I think the focus is extremely important, right? It's something we talk a lot about internally. You know, crypto has so much shiny object syndrome going on, right? Uh, and, you know, all these things tie together, right? Capital is flowing. There's lots of shiny objects. There's a lot of exciting money making opportunity, right? It's easy to raise run around kind of exploring different ideas, ship here, ship there, right? Uh, and end up spending time without really shipping tangible ROI or tangible impact, right? Um, so, you know, we're entirely focused on margin fi because we think that's how you execute on something that is difficult to pull off, right? Uh, in the future, we're excited to expand our horizons, right? And, you know, we don't have any immediate plans, right? But when the time comes, uh, you know, I'm sure that Margin Fi will not be the last thing that we're excited to build. So <laughs> looking forward to working with these guys in the trenches for a long time. Yeah, that's we do, awesome. We do have projects that are going to be infused with Margin Fi. Um, so like one like uh, sort of like alpha here uh, project we have coming up is called Fadekin. And, and it's going to be like an exciting intersection of uh, like an elite group of curated retail traders and some of the uh, institutional partners that we've been talking with. Um, and so that will, that will just channel directly into what we're doing at margin as the protocol. And also just, um, as well as all the ecosystem protocols that we're, we're looking to partner with, like giving them, um, a resource as well. Uh, so, uh, that's like, that's something that's kind of in the works and will, uh, will be launched soon. Um, but, but anything like that is definitely just right in line with what we're doing at margin and that, cause that's where, like Edgar said, that's where focus is on yeah that's amazing especially with what you guys are building at margin fi i think fanikin probably whatever bush of that i'm gonna keep going fanikin no <laughs> is great here just in the sense that what you guys are building very much tailors to a lot of institutions trad five people so seeing that you guys are building this other bridge to also bring on retail and have this curated group it's pretty great and just shows the level that margin labs is going to do it's not just margin fi at the protocol level this is obviously incredibly important for all the reasons we just went through but there's a lot more to that and you guys are really looking to embark on building open source software which i think is really cool and where this space has continued to go i think we covered a lot of margin fi and it's not obviously the last we're hearing like you guys are just ramping things up. I think this past week is probably when people are like, oh, Margin Fi is on the radar. But you guys have obviously been working for a while. I think something that's notable that you guys have been doing while all of this is happening is you guys were also a part in setting up this Mountain Dow Hacker House, which has been, to me, it's easy to say. I haven't been at any other hacker houses. So I can sit here and be like, this is the best one. I've got so much <laughs> shit done. We have all of this going on. But that truly seems to be the general sentiment here. I'm thinking about going to other hacker houses. I was talking to Darius and I'm like, I'm scared. I'm not going to be able to get as much stuff done. <laughs> like you guys set us up here with an office and shout out obviously to Cypher and everyone else who was working on this, Sam as well. I'm curious just what has the general sentiment been having everyone here in Utah and just bringing out the entire team together, actually seeing the team. It's just been amazing seeing this and what does it mean for the Solana ecosystem in general, seeing all of this come together? Yeah, totally. Um, Anders, yeah, you got it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So there's kind of, there's two perspectives there. There's uh, like our team and then kind of participants in the house. So 
um, participants I've talked to, they all like echo your sentiment that hey, this is so nice. I can get so much done here. It's like quiet and clean. Um, and then the other thing people say is like, oh, wow, Salt Lake is so nice. <laughs> so like I think most people haven't been to Utah before, before they come out here. So uh, they're normally like kind of subtly impressed by the state and what it has to offer. Um, but yeah, generally we wanted to create um, a place where people could be very productive throughout the day. And I think that's uh, already been like confirmed, right? We had like Mountain Pay ship out of here. Um, I think we had like some anchor update from Cape Man Lover Boy. Yeah, anchor yep. is, yeah. Yeah, so there's already like cool stuff getting shipped out of it, which was like even more than what we hoped for. Um, we're also having fun, obviously. So like <laughs> ski days have been going on. Uh, we've been posting videos of all the parties we've been doing. So um, I think we've struck a really good balance. Obviously, like the Solana houses are, I mean, they're sick. Like you go to these cool cities, they have crazy events. Like, I mean, it's good for the ecosystem and I think it's uh, exciting to be a part of, but we wanted like something longer month long that people could get stuff done at. And then um, we've had that exact experience as a team. So we've all been like, Funked up together at Edgar's place, which has been kind of fun, like very like seed stage startup vibes. Um, but it's been really good having the whole team in one place because uh, as much as you can work remote and you can do this all online, there's just there's so much like human coordination that's really nice to have in one spot. So we're trying to continue that. We're all going to go out to Singapore together, um, meet up with some more of the team out there, and yeah cranking out here <laughs> that's amazing i want to push here a little bit i feel like i heard a little bit on how this <laughs> edgar bunking situation <laughs> you guys made like an ikea run right what's the, what's oh, yeah. the i think we're getting down to the end here but what, what's the theory on these ikea runs <laughs> what, what is this bunking situation Dude, i'm just i'm just holding on you know um i mean look you know when the team was coming over i was like guys right we could do anything I mean, we could get hotel rooms, we can get an Airbnb house, right? Like, what do you guys want to do, right? There was this beautiful house, you know, Salt Lake's got these mountains, it was on the foothills, it's got this view. And they were like, yo, man, we don't really feel like we're house on the foothill kind of stage, you know, with the, <laughs> the whole effort, right? It's a little early. They were like, let's go get, let's go get some beds, you know, we'll go to Ikea, right? I've got some space in my apartment. So we were rolling and I'm thinking, you know, queen beds, at least like, I don't know, like, you know, I'm, I'm talking about the, you know, with the, 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 the mattress base, right. And whatever. And Mac walks over <laughs> to these, to these twin, like three inch mattresses, right. They're like 125 bucks at Ikea. And he's like, perfect. <laughs> Grabs four of them. And they are just all on my floor in the apartment. Uh, yeah, and we spend 24 hours together a day, so it's been pretty sick. I, I think Jacob can confirm they're pretty comfortable. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. I'm sleeping pretty nice today here. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. I'm getting towards the end here, so I don't know if there's anything you guys want to chime in. Usually how I just close these out, what's something you guys are excited for mid to long term for MarginFi? What's something just generally broad Solana that you guys are excited for. And that'll wrap it up for me once that's done. So not sure who wants to jump on that. Uh, Jojo, what about you? Um, I mean, honestly, uh, just with with everything with Margin Fire right now, uh, I mean, I just got here yesterday, I think it is. So yeah, it is kind of overwhelming for me, the whole Hacker House. It is my first Hacker House as well. Um, but yeah, um, just kind of broad sentiment here. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be part of the Margin Five team, and I'm really excited to uh, continue to um, crank stuff out here at Mountain Dow. But yeah, yeah. I can take on the like Solana eco stuff. I think I kind of echoed this earlier, but what I'm really excited for is we've kind of like we've got like the base set for DeFi, right? Like all the primitives are in place. Um, there's not like a lot of functionality that's missing at this point. So uh, now this is where it gets interesting, and people can build things on Solana that they can't build on these other chains just because of like the low level nature of it and how performance oriented it is. So I think that comes through and like the composability thesis we talked about. And I think we'll see like new primitives emerge and new products that we haven't seen like elsewhere across crypto as a whole. Um, and so I think Solana DeFi is just going to rip. It's going to get really interesting. <laughs> and in, in a lot of our like institutional chats, they're echoing that, that sentiment. And so like, that's what I'm excited about as well is, is when we can start to onboard the big bases of capital and like drive deep liquidity into the space. Um, and then, you know, just make everything more 
get the best prices, you know, the tightest spreads. Um, and uh, that'll, that'll be really fun. And that'll just be a great environment for both institutional and retail traders and, and anyone just like coming into the space. Uh, so institutional onboarding is, is a big thing for me. Yeah. Right. Even, even besides like, um, you know, exciting um, complex DeFi products, just uh, simple things as Solana Pay, like have just taken off and now with Phantom Mobile Wallet, uh, you know, we've been we've been buying snacks with, with Phantom for a whole month here, and it's it's mind blowing that it's so fast. So the the UX is great, and even in, if you think on the merchant side, like there's no you know you, you paid no credit card fees or anything. So there's you know technically really no downside to it. You know, and this is something that's uniquely Solana offered right now. Yeah. yeah, I think that's amazing. Us buying snacks is kind of an understatement. We've been ransacking the stock, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, Barrett told me yesterday the wallet has like $700. <laughs> yeah, we're just... you, these are like $1 or $2 snacks. <laughs> so there's no like price. I think they upped shipping like three or four X. Like, yeah. yeah. snacks and we're still running out. Like, I, I, would, I would normally day. never buy these snacks. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get some. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> Yeah, so that's amazing. I'll just jump out in here and exciting for MarginFi. This is obviously the team here. I think everyone's going to be hearing a lot more from them. I really just want to thank Edgar, Mac, Durs, Jacob, and Jojo, you guys for coming on. This is amazing. And this is really the start of what's going on with MarginFi. And I just want to close this off that you guys really are just composing. Like that's <laughs> what's happening. It blew up in Solana as a meme these past two weeks, but Margin Five is like, yo guys, we're, we are composing. So I think it's great and we'll end it off there. Just want yeah. to thank all of you guys for coming on. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.